Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Bait and Trace Clinic. Today I'm talking about bronze bream. To start off with, we've got our saltwater made up traces for the beginners. People that don't want to sit and tie traces. So they come pre-made. There's also a little article written out here that tells you exactly what we're going to be talking about today. How to catch bronze beam. There's two traces in our saltwater sports trace. Um, to start off with, I'm going to explain what we use to actually manufacture the saltwater sports traces. We need, first of all, our Kingfisher 6mm floats, size 6 uh, barrel, sorry, size 8 barrel swivels, number 6 big gun um, hooks, a toothpick, and of course our 15 kilo Kingfisher nylon. To make the trace, we require a pair of scissors. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to give it a little bit of a snip and take one of our floats out. I'm then going to take one of our barrel size 8 swivels out. There it is there. Number 6, big gun. You can go a little bit bigger if you want, a size 4 if you'd like, if you're looking for bigger bronze beam. Our hook snoot, and that's our nylon obviously, our hook snoot, we're going to make 30 centimeters in length. So I'm just going to quickly cut 30 centimeters of hook snoot. And then I'm going to cut 40 centimeters of sinker snoot. Okay, so there's the nylon all done. Okay. To start off with, I'm going to take the hook snoot, 15 kilo, starting at the bottom, going through the eye of the hook, and I'm going to be making a figure of eight. One, two, three times. Take the tag end, stick it through the back, open it up, forming the figure of eight as you can see there. A little bit of lubrication never hurt. Slide the nylon down. And the reason we use a little bit of saliva in that is just so that it doesn't burn the nylon. Take our mustard scissors, cut off the tag in nice and close. Take our float, our Kingfisher float, slide that down. And what we do then is take our toothpick and insert our toothpick. Bend it backwards and break it off. There we go. So now we can pull it down to whatever length we want it to be. And our float will sit there perfectly. It's not going to move up and down the line. Next, we're going to take our swivel and make it 30 centimeters in length. So we just measure our 30 centimeters quickly. There we go. So we take our size 8 barrel swivel, our Kingfisher barrel swivel, and just do our figure of 8. Go back through, pull the tag end out, open it up. There's our figure of 8 formed. Wet it, slide it down onto our size 8 Kingfisher barrel swivel, and cut off the tag end. We then take our 40 centimeters of 15 kilo kingfisher nylon. And on the other side of the barrel swivel, we then attach our sinker snoot. So we're going to go around again. One, pull tight. Cut off the tear again. Measure the distance just to make sure it's the right length. And that is what our Kingfisher saltwater sports trace looks like. 
It's got a piece of nylon for your sinker. It's obviously got your hook with your float on it. On the top part of the nylon one, in other words, on that one there, you're going to attach your leader. So your leader's going to come off here. That's going to go to your rod. That's going to go to your sinker. It's as simple and easy as that, guys. There's our Kingfisher Saltwater Sports Trace made. Just for you. Enjoy, guys.